What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood. <laughs> what happened, Blue Blood Sports TV? I heard you got ran up on by the one and only, none other than Terrence Bud Crawford. See? Sometimes it takes a reality check for you to start finally seeing things both ways instead of just looking at things one way or being a fanboy. So just always taking one person's side. You got to learn to be fair. Look at what's really going on beyond the surface. You know, like they say, love is blind. Even with fans, sometimes their love for their favorite fighter, athlete, or even celebrity will cause them to be blinded by some of the, the habits and the behaviors of the people that they love and admire. But yes, Mr. Blue Blood Sports TV, it's your boy. Yeah, bruh. You got to stay humble, man. You got to be fair. See, this is how the universe works. Why would he do it? You got confronted by not only Bud Crawford, but the Libra Bud Crawford. And one thing about the Libras, we'll let you be who you are, do what you do, say what you got to say, but don't be disrespectful. And don't be unfair. Bud Crawford, being a diplomat by default, he had to check you, bro. Because he saw that you were not being fair. He saw that you were being a fanboy. He saw that you were just taking sides. Instead of just being a blogger, and speaking on what you see and not what you just always think or want to believe. So that's the problem. There's too many people living in the Rome in this world just believing. They want to believe in something. They want to believe there's a sky daddy that's res controlling everything and that's responsible for everything. But then you're making this sky daddy an accessory to all the murder and all the bullshit going on down here. You know what I'm saying? Like, that don't even make no damn sense that you would put all of this trauma, tragedy, bloodshed, chaos on some sky daddy and then you gonna make an excuse for why this sky daddy is just sitting back watching everything unfold, people dying every day and you just you, you just have faith, believe, you gotta go out to believe we can knock it off man, y'all some delusional weirdos bro controlled by y'all's oppressors, y'all oppressors tricked y'all very well taught y'all to be weak and docile and a bunch of sheep that don't know how to use y'all's brain but back to sports talk blue blood you got humbled bruh and Terrence Boyd Crawford had to put you in your place stop being a fanboy dog be real everybody's starting to see it's not Bud Crawford but it is Earl the fake Spence Jr. They about to call him Earl the fake Spence Jr. Instead of Earl the truth Spence Jr. Because there ain't no truth coming out of this dude's camp right now. He's obviously, he's showing all, all he's proving to all of us that he's not a boss. He's a slave because the, the people that's over him, whether his promotion team, his managers, whoever, Obviously, they trying to protect them, or they must know something that Earl Spence don't know, because, like, according to Bud, Spence wants to fight, but his team don't want him, want to fight for him. So, are they scared for him? Are they concerned that? You know, are they coming to the realization that Bud is not just no regular lightweight that just came up? This nigga's a dog. Nigga can, can fight. He can wrestle. He can do a little mixed martial mixed martial arts. He can do a little bit of everything. But you clowns, y'all so stuck on 
girl, the cowboy, better tell that boy Earl Spears to get off the farm and start explaining some shit because it ain't looking too good for him right now. It's not looking too good for him right now. He keep, keep playing. He kept playing these little games with everybody, and we all know that one person that Earl is scared of is Bud Crawford, because Bud Crawford is the only person that went to Earl. Excuse me, Bud Crawford is the only one that went to Earl in his face personally, called him out, told him, "When I knock you out, don't make no excuses. Don't say this. Don't say that." Earl was concerned after that very day that Bud called him out. And ever since then, as he's been watching and, and ha as he's seen that Bud is been taken has been taken out every opponent that he's fought, but even in a way more dominant fashion, it's made him more concerned and more fearful. And trying to play all these little politic games with Bud and make the world think that he wants to fight. He even called him out after the Ugas fight. But really, he don't want that smoke. Because he know Crawford ain't phased. He wasn't scared about scared of that win over Ugas. Very dominant win. You would think a fighter that was potentially uh, preparing to fight Spence would kind of be a little concerned after that fight, after that dominant win. No, Bud is a dog. And Blue Blood Sports... You're going to start being a fanboy, dog. You're going to start being real. And you're going to start calling it the way it is. Blue Blood Sports TV. It's your boy. I'm out.